Hello everyone and welcome back to another race in our 2001 and 2003 season here at the Chicagoland Speedway where Tony Stewart and Ricky Rudd have started the race on the front row and Tony Stewart now begins to pull ahead on that inside lane with help from Mark Martin looking for his second top 10 of the season and Jeff Gordon right there in third your championship points leader coming into this race. And you see everyone else around them battling for position. You know, our most recent race winner, Bill Elliott, who won Daytona at the back end of the top 10 years. Tony Stewart leads this opening lap at Chicago, but Mark Martin is pressuring him right now. Into one and two. Mark Martin now trying to make a move on Tony Stewart's back bumper. Mark Martin has struggled this season, and that is a understatement. He has just been absolutely atrocious. There's only one top 10 through 17 races of this 36 race season. And now he tries to reel in Tony Stewart for the lead, but early here at Chicago Land, Tony Stewart will lead the way in the Home Depot Pontiac. And now we're going to move on to lap 51. Jeff Gordon has gone around. Sterling Marlin, Sterling Marlin and Mark Martin have fell through the field. As Jeff Gordon now leads this race, of course, championship points leader Sterling Marlin in second place behind him. Then you got Bobby Labonte, Jeff Burton, and Rusty Wallace, your top five. So Jeff Gordon, of course, looking to add another win to his already dominant season so far. And Jeff Gordon will lead the way here at about the what, quarter mark of this race. And now we move on to a caution lap 86, about half the field has been decimated in a huge wreck that we missed including Jeff Gordon, Sterling Marlin, Bobby Labonte, Jeff Green, Johnny Benson, Tony Stewart, Ricky Rudd, oh, Mark Martin, a huge assortment of contenders has just been taken out in this huge wreck. Matt Kenseth as well, Kenny Schrader, and so now your race leader on this restart is going to be Dale Earnhardt Jr. On lap 87, he's already under pressure from the young Kevin Harvick in the number 29, trying to make a move and get around Dale Jr. Indeed, the Kevin Harvick will make the pass on Dale Jr. And Kevin Harvick will now lead the way down the back stretch here at Chicago Land with 181 to go over Dale Jarrett, Dale Jr., Bill Elliott. There, oh, Tony Stewart is still in the race. He's at the very back of this pack with Bobby Hamilton and Kenny Schrader. As they work their, through, work their way now, Harvick leads that lap by about a smidgen over Dale Jarrett. Wow, that was so close. They called him even at the line there, but Kevin Harvick gets the lap led as he pulls away now. As now we move on to 104 laps to go, Dale Jr. has now taken the lead from Dale Jarrett and is looking to try to drive to away to get his first win of the season and get DEI back in victory lane. For the first time since Dale Earnhardt's unfortunate passing. So here we are. <clears throat> Dale Jr. leads the way here at Chicago over Dale Jarrett. Can he hold on and break through to get the win? Only seven cars on the lead lap. Those seven cars are Jr., Dale Jarrett, Carvick, Stewart, Bobby Hamilton, Kenny Schrader, and Bill Elliott. So now it looks like Dale Jr. maintaining a solid three to four tenths of a second lead over Dale Jarrett right now. Looking to try to run away with this race lead and the race victory as Dale Jr. will lead here at Chicagoland with 102 laps to go in the Tropicana 400. And now we move on to two to go in the Tropicana 400 at Chicagoland. Dale Jr. is pulled away now to a nearly 20 second lead over Dale Jarrett and looks to dominate the final half of this race and bring home a huge victory. That would propel himself to victory lane, of course, and possibly back into the mix of championship contention, especially with a lot of contenders wrecking now. Three and four, white flag, final lap here for Dale Jr. Here at Chicago Lands, he makes his way through turn one and two for the final time. The lap car of Kurt Busch behind him. Kurt is running two laps down in 11th. As Dale Jr. one more time down the back straightaway and into three and four here at Chicagoland. And as he makes his way through the final corner, racing redemption is at his hands. Then Dale Earnhardt Jr. will win at Chicago. Your runner-up will be Dale Jarrett all the way back here coming through three and four. Making his way back to start finish lines. A huge breakthrough win there for Dale Jr. And of course here Dale Jarrett will come through to take the runner up position. Third place going to be Bobby Hamilton beating Kevin Harvick who will be in fourth. 
Bill Elliott gets a top five, and then you got Tony Stewart. By the way, Kenny Schrader is going to beat Stewart, and there's your top seven. So Dale Jr., your winner here in Chicago, got two breakthrough fan favorite winners in a row here in end of 2003. There's only 22 cars finished the race, as everyone else was decimated in that huge accident that I missed, and I apologize for that. See the race results on the left side of your screen, and we'll see the standings shortly. Now, if you view the Winston Cup standings, Jeff Gordon remains a points lead by 53 over Rusty Wallace and Kevin Harvick back by 75. Those are your top three really in contention. Bobby Labonte fourth in the points. Ricky Rudd on your top five. Then Dale Jarrett is sixth. Dale Jr. just up to seventh in the points with that big win. Then Bobby Hamilton, Sterling Marlin, and Jeff Burton round out your top ten. Then Johnny Benson, Kenny Schrader, Bill Elliott, Tony Stewart, Jimmy Spencer round out the top fifteen in points. Then Dave Blaney, Matt Kenseth, Jerry Nadu, Ricky Craven, and Steve Park round out the top twenty in points. So until the next episode, I hope you all have a good one.